so I kind of bring the people, the people around um, the six stations, yeah. And we're kind of lucky because uh, we're the only grade sixes doing it. The other people are grade seven and eight. It's kind of scary because you know they could be like texting. They have all those phones and they're kind of they're taller, much taller. So it's kind of like yeah, you listen to me and you're really it's kind of. It's kind of like me telling my mom to go clean the bathroom. <laughs> my part in the wetland is the history. So I would talk about when, we were, when the class is here and they were sitting down, I would go up and ha I made a poster and I'd explain what the history is back then and now to compare it. Even though we're doing like going to different schools, we still have to hand in a project like for our mark. So I enjoy that more though than just doing a poster or PowerPoint. I needed to know about a trail camera, because that's what's there. It's like the animal station. And I needed to know how to play camouflage, because that's what we do most of the time. When um, groups from other schools come to my station, they get to write poetry in, in, the, in the wilderness. So like they just get to embrace the senses around them and write poetry from there. And I love poetry, so it is definitely an awesome station for me to run. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to like mess up, but I'm excited because we've gone down to Nose Creek and like done it before. And it'll be interesting to see what they think about our ecosystem. I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous just because we have to teach um, grade sevens and eights. They're much older than us, but I think that they'll enjoy it because we get to make some fun rock sculptures of a biotic factor um, in the ecosystem, like something living, and I think they're going to enjoy it. We get to practice a lot more to teach other people and they get um, learning out of it too, along with us. So if someone didn't like learning, just me talking to them, I'd actually do something to help them and that was kind of fun. I'm really confident about talking to people, obviously, <laughs> but like I have learned so much these past month or two or whatever it is, and I feel that everybody else did too because I knew my stuff. Uh, it's going to be cool getting out of like, like seeing what their environment is and like what they, they live in and what they explore and stuff because it's going to be way different than what we live in right now. We show off our ecosystems and they show off theirs to us. So um, I have a game for our ecosystem and I get to participate in the other ecosystems games too. I really want to show off um, my favorite animal in our ecosystem, the red-tailed hawk. We just have like three that hung out around our house. There were like 10 people listening to me and my friend talk about how this, how the access has a huge effect on Bright Creek and I'm, and I'm just like, it felt so awesome because everybody was listening to me. Teaching is a completely different style of learning for everybody because you usually are just sitting around and learning from you. I think you have to be pretty prepared for that. So you have to know what you're talking about first. I like to like stop the group and point out the interesting things. Like we found a really big bird's nest yesterday and they were all taking pictures of it. And it's really interesting to see how like the kids from the different areas like take in our forest because it's so new to them. Like they see a squirrel and it's like, oh! <gasps> when you're touring them out in the forest, it's, you're actually experiencing it. So you're actually like walking around observing what you're learning. Basically, you're learning from what you're teaching the other kids. And in the classroom, it's basically the teacher talks and you write notes and you learn. Like, so say your teacher's like trying to talk to you and explain a picture, and it's just on in images on uh, Google. But when you actually go out there and actually get to like do the activities in front and see the ecosystem, it's a lot more easier to learn because you get to see it in real life. It, it just involves learning about new things, asking questions, discovering. It's almost like solving a mystery. You need to know more. And yeah, to me, that's what inquiry means. That's what I take. Yeah, I'm a very kinetic learner when it comes to learning, so being able just to go out there and be hands-on, that's a lot of helpful to my learning. I think I learned more than I expected because I thought we were just going to learn how different ecosystems, like what, like what different ecosystems look like and how they take care of it, but I learned a lot more than just that. I think you remember better because then it's like, yeah, I've gone on three field trips already instead of read through a textbook. It's so cool being in the forest and actually getting just to like smell it and be around it during school time because we don't really get that opportunity out here unless we drive to the mountains. I find outdoor learning much better for me. 
I don't know about everybody else, but I think in our school, we all enjoy learning outdoors versus going inside and just sitting around reading books. Yeah, it was cool today, especially like experiencing everyone's projects and like um, the difference between the ecosystems and like what's the bad, like the cons and the pros of both sides, I guess. I don't know, it's just, it's more hands-on. We get to experience more of it instead of just reading about other people experiencing it. This is the way I like to learn, kind of just going out and actually doing it. So say I did a test, instead of thinking through all the textbooks I read through, I know I've actually done this and then I realised something from that experience to put it down. Kind of, that's how I kind of like to learn. I know it's cool being able to see pictures of it, but when you actually get to go and touch um, like the moss on the ground or like get to see the actual animals, it's better than seeing pictures. And then I'll remember that experience for later in my life, like the exam, if we have to take an exam on that, I'll be able to see, I'll be able to like see back in my mind and be like, I remember that day. It helps me um, concentrate more because I'm doing stuff that interests me and I feel like I'm helping other grades, other schools while I'm doing it. It's more hands-on than, you know, just writing up a worksheet about our ecosystem. We get to teach other schools about it that aren't used to this kind of urban ecosystem. It makes you concentrate better and you have examples to show the kids and you're having fun while you're learning. You actually get to see what you're learning about and, re and when you're just learning about science at school you just get to look at a few pages but really we get to look and see what's going on. The grown-ups they more so just like step back and let you take the lead so you get to like learn more so about being a leader and you're allowed to like talk and be as loud as you want outside. I think we would call it something like physical learning because when we're actually out there and we're in groups and we're learning about what we're around, what's around us I, I would call it physical learning. Changes what I think about how we should like really take care of the ecosystem before. Uh, I just didn't really pay much attention to it and now I really like care about it and now we really have to take care of it. We want to learn like how we could affect it and how we could also change what we've been doing because sometimes it's bad but also what we should keep the same because we've been doing some good things as well. I'm really inspired to make a change like because I did logging for my project, my eco project, and I really was inspired to do something. And actually when we came back, when the people came, I really couldn't make a difference because it just, in a month, it's just back to garbage like that. So I wanted to kind of make people aware of what's happening. Well, I know there are classes coming together with a bunch of ideas to help and try and make um, a difference in our city and with Langdon, Springbank, and all the other places that we visited. When you all work together, it definitely will make a difference in the world. Uh, I had no idea that I was going to get this inspired to do things, and I am, and now I, I f it feels great. <laughs>